Who told you how to build a lightsaber anyway? Kanan Jarrus. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Spoiler alert. For a Jedi spy, the new lightsaber Ezra Bridger made in Ahsoka is the ideal weapon. His second lightsaber, he had lost his first in a fight with Darth Vader in Star Wars Rebels Season 2, was left with his Mandalorian companion Sabine Wren when Ezra Bridger vanished at the conclusion of the show. After adapting Ezra's old lightsaber to her own specifications, Sabine began training as a Force user under Ahsoka Tano. As such, he needed a new lightsaber even after Sabine Sabine and Ezra were reconciled. Fortunately, Hu Yang, a Jedi Order droid and lightsaber expert, had joined the journey and could provide Ezra with all the equipment he required. Like in the old days of Star Wars Rebels, Ezra will probably be fighting alongside his buddies against Thrawn in the Imperial Remnant now that he's back home and reunited with New Republic General Hera Syndulla. As a member of the Ghost Crew, Ezra frequently broke into Imperial bases, factories, and strongholds while disguised as stormtroopers and wearing other disguises. Ezra proved he still had it in the Ahsoka finale, hiding on Grand Admiral Thrawn's ship while disguised as one of his night troopers. The other night troopers should have been able to identify a lightsaber by shape, but like his Jedi master, Ezra had to have hidden it right in front of him. The lightsaber of Canon Jarrus was optimal for strength. Star Wars Rebels Canon Jarrus is clutching his lightsaber. At the conclusion of Star Wars Rebels Season 4, Ezra Bridger's mentor, Canon Jarrus, tragically passed away. He gave his life to protect Ezra, Bean and Hera from a catastrophic explosion. But Cannon had escaped death and capture multiple times before that fateful night. Even though the Inquisitors had him on their radar as a Jedi who was still alive and causing a lot of problems for the Empire, Cannon's lightsaber's special design contributed to his ability to hide his Jedi identity for a considerable amount of time. According to the source book for Star Wars Rebels Season 2, one would never have understood what kind of weapon Cannon was holding until he assembled the lightsaber. It was an obviously wise move. Unlike so many of his peers, he would never be caught without his lightsaber and would always be prepared to use it at a moment's notice. His master taught Ezra many things, including patience, kindness, and the ways of the Force. Even years after his master's passing, Ezra might have recalled the last instruction he ever learned, how to construct a simple lightsaber. The lightning design of Ezra makes it simple to enter an enemy stronghold. It was evident that Ezra had canon in mind when he constructed his new lightsaber in Ahsoka Episode 8, The Jedi, The Witch and the wardrobe. The visual similarities between Ezra's new lightsaber and Cannon's old lightsaber are remarkable. Hu Yang was able to provide Ezra with the same emitter that Cannon was using, and the designs of the grips are also similar. In addition, Ezra's new lightsaber, like Cannon's, has a blue blade. Ahsoka Episode 8 places special emphasis on demonstrating how Ezra's weapon pays homage to Cannon's legacy. As Ezra completes his lightsaber, he screws the emitter onto the top of the weapon. This implies that, like Cannon, he could probably just just as quickly unscrew it and conceal the two distinct parts. When Ezra reverts to rebellion, having a lightsaber that is so easy to conceal, even in plain sight, will be quite helpful. His specialization is infiltrating dangerous bases. He has gone undercover previously and will do it once more. It will only make those kinds of missions easier because he can conceal his lightsaber in the same manner as canon. Ezra will surely do everything in his power to stop the Empire from reclaiming control now that Grand Admiral Thrawn has returned and the threat they posed to the galaxy is once again present. In the upcoming battle, Ahsoka's lightsaber, which Ezra integrated, will be crucial. Let me borrow that. Yeah, no problem.